I have my care plan. So I thought today we could go through my care plan and share some thoughts. <laughs> Now I haven't read this yet, but I'm going to diagnose this. EUPD, PTSD, depressive disorder, eating disorder, bipolar affective disorder, arthritis, type 1 diabetes, medications, lithium, a thousand milligrams, nocturnal, haloperidol, five by twice daily, trazodone, 50 milligrams at night, vortioxetine, 20 milligrams daily, procyclozine, 5 milligrams twice daily, clonazepam 500 milligram micrograms by daily, banzoprazole, glycoside, amphibiphrosin, desidestrol, folic acid. We have discussed tattoos on her arms which she is pleased. We discussed the benefits of a care coordinator. She got paid a pip recently and bought a new camera lens for YouTube channel. It's great by the way, I love it. I get to stand a bit away from the camera. You get to see a background and the sound is amazing. I don't, I don't think you can hear it auto focusing on my face. So definitely a top purchase of the year. Lives in supported accommodation, has her own kitchen and bathroom. Happy there and has been there more than a year. Staff are okay and supportive. She doesn't take part in activities as she is busy. Studying content media and film production. Has to attend uni three days a week. Two days a week this week? Because I had an x-ray on my dodgy knee. My knee is dodgy. It keeps giving weight on me and I keep falling over. I'm not exactly the most mobile person at the minute. Happy at uni and in a third year gra graduating next summer. In terms of social life, she has a boyfriend. Not anymore. Well, I don't have a boyfriend anymore. This year is starting 31st October for her knee. It just, st it just started hurting no accident or injury. Lydia was diagnosed with arthritis in her hands and ankles at say, the at age of 17. Struggles to write so uses a computer for everything. No medication for after I guess it was on amitriptyline, but it was stopped. Risks risks to self are currently low, but remain dynamic. And Lydia has a safety plan if she feels like self harming. No other risks identified. Very ple pleasant and engaging young woman with normal speech. Mood you you think you I don't know what it says. This word. No thought disorder, no psychotic symptoms. Cognition intact. Impression. Functionally well and stable on current regime. Meant to have diagnosis required further consideration on next review. Patient has unexplained young onset arthritis. It attached in hands and ankles. Now has tender half of knee. May benefit from, from rheumatology appointment. Yeah. Additional information. Reduce clonazepam to 500 micrograms daily to be taken, one to be taken at night. Get lithium levels done and blood GP. Include kidney function, thyroid function and calcium. No other changes to meds for now. Await outcome of physio and for knee. Crisis plan discussed and agreed to include the listening to saves. Continue care coordinator support, med medical review in three months to review meds again. Well, that wasn't too bad. At least they finally accept my diagnosis. And to anyone who said I couldn't be diagnosed with these mental health issues at the same time, fuck you. So what do you think? To me, that's just basic, really. Yeah, I would love to know your opinion in the description down below. Thanks for watching and if you have any video requests please leave them in the comments down below. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.